the Blood Bank of Hawaii is sending shipments of blood to help those impacted by Hurricane Milton. Hawaii residents are urged to donate blood through the next several weeks. This will also ensure that there's an adequate supply for Hawaii's hospitals. 200 blood donors are needed every day here in the islands. Make an appointment to give at bbh.org. In Kalihi, an investigation is underway after medics say a 62-year-old man was stabbed Sunday afternoon on Howe Street. He was rushed to the hospital in serious condition. The call for help came in just after 3 p.m. yesterday. No word yet on what led up to that attack. Honolulu police are searching for 23-year-old Kaena Kaoihana. She escaped from police custody at Palimomi Medical Center in IA on Thursday afternoon. She had just been booked for an $11,000 warrant. If you have seen her, call Crime Stoppers at the number right there on your screen. The state says it is restoring nine more school bus routes in East Hawaii and Central Maui today. Buses will return for about 100 students at 10 schools. Nearly 150 routes were suspended in early August due to a driver shortage. After today, 29 routes will still be out of service. In an effort to spread awareness about the Office of Hawaiian Affairs and the importance of voting for trustees in the general election, the Hawaii State Teachers Association invited candidates to take part in its first ever candidate forum. On Saturday, candidates discussed why they want to serve and addressed a variety of other topics for viewers to get a better understanding of who they are and what their vision is. Turnout for OHA races is historically low, and blank votes of 43% to 58% were recorded for the primary election in those particular races. On Maui, Mayor Bisson will be hosting a community budget meeting tonight at the Mayor Hannibal Tavares Community Center in Pukalani. This will take place from 5 to 7 p.m., and the upcountry community is asked to come and share priorities for fiscal year 2026. This is the fifth of eight budget meetings that are being held throughout Maui County. The meeting will also be on Maui County's Facebook page for those who cannot attend in person. As we look at the seven day forecast, we're going to get up to 15 to 20 miles per hour in some places. It's going to be a little bit stronger Tuesday, Wednesday. By the time we get to Thursday, we're going to have another weak front that's going to come through the islands. Uh, and so we're going to have some lighter trade winds on Friday, Saturday into Sunday. But we'll have a little bit better weather with partly cloudy and then Sunday, mostly sunny skies. Seven days of nice weather. Just know that we may have a little bit of rain, a little bit more enhanced showers as we get through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Get the latest on air, online, on your mobile device and at hawaiinewsnow.com. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.